In this video, we're going to introduce you to plugin management on a WordPress multi-site network. So the very first thing that you need to understand when you're running a WordPress multi-site network, uh, and especially if you haven't actually seen our video on themes yet, is that themes, users, and plugins are something that are, for the most part, managed across the entire network. So when you want to install a new plugin, the only place you can install it is in the network admin area. I've actually got one of the websites open here in another tab, as you can see. And if you go to plugins, there's actually no way to install a new plugin from here. If you want to do that, it, yeah, just to reiterate, it has to be done through the network dashboard. So what I do want to do is just introduce that interface to you because it's slightly different, but not so wildly different that you probably couldn't get through yourself anyway. But the first thing you'll notice is that you've got network activate there instead of enable or activate or anything like that, because it does have to be done network wide. However, another important piece of information to be aware of is that if you want to update any plugins, you also have to do it through here. So you can see right now I've got a Kismet and there's an update available for that. However, if for instance, say I was over in this website, uh, the one titled multi-site demo, which is the first site on the network. I can see that there's an update available because it's in the admin bar at the top, but there's no way to actually do it down here just in the regular plugin screen. And you'll note if you look at the URL down the bottom left of the screen, it's actually going to go to the network dashboard. So what we'll do now is we'll go back into here. So we're back in the network plugin area and let's just activate a Kismet. So we'll do that now, we'll do that first. Um, and yeah, as you can see, that's now active. So we'll jump back into the other dashboard and we'll hit refresh just on the regular site. And you can see a Kismet is now active. Uh, it doesn't actually show you that it's active here. It just becomes active. And what I'd also like to show you is a really, really cool setting that is available in multi-site. So back in the network dashboard, if you go to settings and then to network settings, and then all the way down the bottom, you can see here we can enable administration menus there, which what we can do now is activate plugins on a site by site basis, something that hasn't always been available. So what we can do now is, for instance, we just want to activate Hello Dolly uh, on this one website. We can do that now. And that's done. So we can just skip back over here into the network dashboard and jump back into plugins. And you can see that Hello Dolly is still there, but it's not actually showing that it's active on a side by side basis, it's just it's not active on the network. And so that's all the multi-site knows at this point in time on this screen. However, there is one giveaway that will actually show you if the plugins you're looking at, if any of them are individually activated on a specific site. And that is that you can't actually delete a plugin that's active somewhere. Unlike a theme, which you can delete uh, no matter what from the network dashboard plugins don't work exactly the same way. So if we wanted to delete Hello Dolly, we'd actually need to go back into the websites dashboard where it's activated, deactivate the plugin there and jump back into the network dashboard. So that's where we'll wrap up. That's a bit of a crash course in plugin management on a multi-site network. The takeaway points are that you really need to ideally be managing them from the network dashboard. That's where you need to install, activate and delete them from. However, you can actually enable them on a site by site basis. So we'll cut it off there. If you have any questions about anything, please feel free to ask in the comments.